Hey and welcome to Sekiro the Ultimate Guide. Now if this is your first time watching any of these videos then I'd ask for a minute or so of your time just so I can explain how to use this guide and what it's about. Essentially this guide is entirely complete and it will help you get a full platinum for Sekiro. It covers all NPC quests that are relevant, all items, a best path through the game and also specifically strategies to get you through the game with the path of least resistance. Remember that this guide is supposed to be used as a full guide but you, could, you can use it for specific areas if you need to but if you're confused about how you know we are at a certain point or doing a certain thing, chances are the answer is in a previous episode. When it comes to boss battles, we really only show you the easiest method that we could find based on our perspective. If you want to fight the boss differently, it's up to you in this case to find a different and harder strategy. Now, if you have a good tip or have a question, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to a pinned post. That way this guide can constantly get better or more efficient. So if you have a question, check the pinned post first. If you do have a tip, please leave a timestamp so I can find the bit that you're talking about. Also, please bear in mind that this guide is taking me literally hundreds of hours to make, so if you enjoyed the video, the least you could do is give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, perhaps give us a sub! And if you really, really enjoyed it, you can support the channel on our Patreon if you're feeling generous, or perhaps sub to us on our Twitch, that's another good option. Now on to the guide. Welcome back to Strength Kiro the Ultimate Guide, and today we are doing Ash in a Dungeon. Again, another small part, but... Ultimately, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. No parts matter. You got the axe in Hara like, the Harata estate. The guide could have finished there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still going. <laughs> so we're just going to go back to... We're going to um, travel back to this part. Uh, just get this bit out of the way. It lets us unlock uh, like a, an, an extra idol that we can like uh, transport to. So just got to jump off and then spam L2 until we uh, get the lock on point And then boy oi oi Nah, don't. Just just let him hit the ground. Because that is how physics works, by the way. Yeah, yeah. When in reality, what would happen is he'd fire the grappling hook, go past the point that it hooked on to <laughs> tear his arm off. Hook and tear his arm off, and he'd go screaming into the abyss, and that'd be the end of Sekiro. <laughs> like, that is a game over. Roll credits. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> so that's that part. Uh, we come here <coughs> later yep, on. That's the ultimate guide to strength Kiro. Bye, guys. <laughs> It's done. So we are now going back to uh, this part, uh, which yeah. we got in the Ashina Castle part. So if uh, you've it's the dungeon idol. Yeah. So this part's like super easy. Uh, you start off like a quest, I guess. Like um, in terms of like you 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 start the doctor's quest here. Doju or something his name is or Dojin. Dojin. Yeah. Yeah. Something I think like, like that. I can't remember his name. So that's like a little bit of lore, and then like some bugs fall from the ceiling, but it literally it just doesn't matter. But um, we're gonna it doesn't. jump up here, then there's like a, a pacifying agent, I think. Uh, there's some free emblems though, remember to pick them up. Hey, I was right, pacifying agent. Some oil down here. I think that's mostly what's in here, is like, just shitty consumables. So the pacifying agent is um, for the Sea Shaman Warrior. Oh, I'm saying like lean back because uh, no. you're like... So, okay, this bit is optional. You don't need to do this. Um, you just can, and I'm showing you. Like, basically, we're just going to do a suicide run into the boss. You'll even die, uh, but it's just to pick up the few items that are, like, down there while we're here because we don't need to fight the boss. Now, to do it, uh, get your pacifying, pacifying agent ready, get your healing item ready, and uh, you just want to... What you actually should have done is taken a pacifying agent before jumping down here, by the way. Just bear that in mind. But you run in here... Grab the black gunpowder, because uh, if you took the pacifying agent, the this build up wouldn't have uh, happened quite as badly. But um, just <laughs> try to not let specifically what just happened there happen. But if you get hit, you just heal up, use the pacifying agent. You're basically. I swear fine. he does more shit at this point in the game. What do you mean? Like, look how many purple orbs are around, and this guy is just like a walking howitzer. Yeah. <laughs> Like, at the end of the game, when you come back here, he doesn't fire out nearly that much of a barrage. I guess nah, it's because nah, you're does. attacking him and he's, like, jumping around and shit, so... So, that's that. Uh, you can just pick up some of those items. They're basically irrelevant, but it's just kind of... It feels good to just pick up what you can when you can. So, coming up here, this is Dojin, I'm sure. I think. Um, just, you know, answer yes, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, effectively, we now need to go back to that guy that we saw outside the ninja boss that we sent into the... It, like, asked if we heard, like, a sound or something like that. Um, but we can... Are you sending him? Yeah, because... If we, yeah, you have to send this guy. This guy doesn't... 
if you finish this guy's quest uh, the other way, uh, you don't get anything for it. But there's another guy that you can send here. Um, it's like he's like a friendly taro. But if you send him, it means that you miss out on like extra stuff from one of the merchants. So that's just... It's kind of good because the choices are pretty black and white actually. Like this is clearly obviously the better guy. So you just come here, like greet him or whatever, and then you speak to him again and he's like, uh, uh, I think I heard the noise in the dungeon. And he's like, thanks bro. What, you mean the dungeon that I just went through? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Like, yeah, no, I swear to God, man. He's like, okay. I, I can hear it coming from in front of me, though. But no, mate, it's behind you. Go back to the dungeon. It's there, trust me. I even seen it. <laughs> I've seen it myself, swear. <laughs> so now you speak to this guy, uh, make sure that you, like, exhaust his dialogue properly. Otherwise, it doesn't continue his quest or something. But just, like... Spam him. Yeah, just, just until you're definitely sure he's... Saying the same thing over and over again. And then you just leave him for like a, another like third of the game or some shit. Yeah, no, quite literally. That's how the NPCs work in this game. You and just, and you that know. is almost literally the dungeon part done. Uh, it's, it's pretty much that easy. Uh, we do need to come back here. Uh, oh, okay, so apparently we have to rest and then speak to him. Oh, yeah, so you now need to like eavesdrop on, on this part, yeah. Oh, don't sit... Dosaku? Was that just so? Do, the Dojun is the guy. Yeah, Dosaku is the, the his master that doesn't seem to be there. Yeah. Don't know what the deal is. He's insane. He never existed, probably. Probably. Now we do need to come back here later on to finish his quest and there's a bunch of other items because you need to like we do it in the there's like a swimming section of the guide. Uh, we come back here and we do that, but uh, ultimately now we've eavesdropped. Now we need to speak to him again. And then we get the next layer. So yeah, yeah now, now we're ready to move on. That's it, we're, we're done with him. Nice, an irrelevant quest. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's basically irrelevant, but the items that you get off him could theoretically help with the last boss. So it's like vaguely worth yeah, it. Yeah, sort of. But we both know you're just gonna ax an R1 anyway, so you don't need items. Well, when it comes to the last boss, you want it. You want to save up all the optional healing items that you get through the game. That way you can absolutely stay alive to axe, to axe Ishin more. So, uh, so throw a ceramic shard at these guys and then they do the, the brain dead like, What was that noise? And then you just, uh, inexplicably he's like, My friend disappeared. What happened? He just vanished right in front of me. <laughs> Aliens took him right in front of my very eyes. <laughs> So then you can like backstab this guy and uh, somehow you never heard anything. Like the, the guards are you pretty brave. You don't even have to because it's not like those guards are particularly difficult. <laughs> They're just like generic enemy. So. Yeah, if anything, I'm just showing you like various techniques that you can use to kind of stealth your way through areas. But again, it's, it's almost irrelevant because every enemy just doesn't really pose that much of a challenge, realistically speaking. There's an infinitely spawning fish in this area, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's I think that fish in underwater infinitely spawns and it just keeps aggroing every time. <laughs> so in inexplicably you can do this. You're outside of his cone of vision. I know, but like how? Well like so we can see peripherally like 170, 180 degrees, right? Sure. But this is an in-game enemy, so he's only got like a 30 degree view cone. Honestly, I thought you were going to have uh, something way more racist than that, so I'm glad you took that angle. Why, what were you thinking? You're the problem here, <laughs> then, if you thought I was going to take a bit. No, I was just like, oh god, what if he says something? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, the, the most... The end of the video, basically. <laughs> yeah. um, Welcome these, to the temple. These pots don't smash, uh, which is an, a travesty. It's actually a crime against humanity that they don't smash. Um, Look, you got your pot room in Bloodborne. <laughs> this is Miyazaki. This one's for him. The last one was for you. This one's for him. Just like Dark Souls. The last one was for you. This <laughs> one's for him. <laughs> and that's this part. Uh, so the next part is the... Are you doing the temple or are you doing something else? No, no, the, the next part is the mountain. Mount, whatever it's called. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this part. Hopefully it was helpful. See you next one. Catch you later, guys.